today is a little bit different. Uh, I'm obviously not in Australia building a boat, and that's because I had to go to work. Uh, but I figure I should probably post something anyway. So I'll talk a little bit about the um, electrical systems on board and what I intend to do with Wilda. So the idea is to have an electric catamaran with a large battery bank, two electric brushless uh, DC motors, uh, a big 48 volt system, and um, this will all be powered by solar. Right now I have 1600 watts of solar, 15 panels. For each panel, the idea is to have a boost charge controller. So there's not a lot of boost controllers on the market. Uh, I've found two options. One is a way out of my budget, uh, $200 each. The other is Chinese and you can get them from $25 uh, up to like 40 depending on where you have to buy them and stuff. So I bought from a, a uh, warehouse in Australia, uh, bringing up the price a bit, but uh, still reasonably priced. Uh, so those 15 controllers will boost up each panel's voltage to 48 volts-ish, to charge voltage actually, to, so it's more like 52, uh, and charge the six Tesla Model S modules. Then there's going to be an AC uh, component, I guess, to the to the electrical system. So an inverter charger from Victron. I haven't ex decided exactly which model, but I'm going with Victron because they are easily programmable and suit lithium very well. And with the outputs from the Victron, you can shut off uh, charging from the possibly less reliable uh, solar charge controllers. Or, and uh, that's a good thing because the battery management system will be talking to uh, the Victron system on the Victron CAN bus uh, uh, communication line, I guess. Battery management system is a system called SIMP. BMS and it talks to the Victron uh, natively and it uses Tesla's um, battery management circuitry on each module. Uh, so that's an advantage. I have to set it up in series parallel system. Uh, Tesla battery pack isn't designed to work that way, and the SIM BMS can do it, but you have to set it up in a weird way. So I'm, I'm going to have to study that some more, but it, it can be done. Uh, the other end of the uh, batteries we have, of course, the loads. And loads, as I mentioned, would be the two brushless motors. It's going to be big. Each are 10 kilowatt motors uh, with a 15 kilowatt peak. So I have to be able to deliver 300, uh, no, sorry, uh, 30 kilowatts from the battery bank uh, on max output. And then uh, the batteries, of course, supply power to the inverter charger, converting it to 220 volt, taking care of all 
the 220 loads on board. Uh, that'll be uh, kitchen appliances, uh, things like that, and a few outlets for, let's say, uh, a yeah, for the water maker. Uh, that's going to be a 220 version, and uh, for induction cooktop, electrical oven, coffee makers, or kettles, stuff like that. And if I need any power tools, uh, then they'll do that as well. On DC loads, uh, the biggest load, apart from the motors, is probably going to be the anchor winch. Uh, regrettably, I have a 12 volt anchor winch, and it's not very efficient converting 48 to 12 volts. On the other hand, I can. Uh, yeah, I'll always be able to deliver 12. I won't, uh, the voltage will never drop to 9 or something. So, so that's good. Uh, and I'll have a whole bunch of DC DC converters for different systems. And redundant DC systems or DC DC converters for, for safety systems like navigation, communication. Uh, and nav lights, um, that sort of thing. Those would be much smaller than the DC DC converter for uh, the anchor winch or, say, the kitchen supplies. And then I intend to build an emergency power system. I have a bunch of Ryobi batteries. <laughs> I should probably be sponsored by Ryobi, considering the amount of tools I have from them. But they may not be the best tools, but they're certainly good enough. They're, they're good, fairly priced uh, tools, and I like them. The orbital sander is fantastic. Uh, uh, anyway. I intend to use a charger that I don't use and convert that to an emergency 12 volt supply. So, so I'll be able to plug in battery after battery if everything else dies on me. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but then we have the shore supply, shore power. Shore power, of course, will come in through the inverter charger from Victron. So that'll just plug in. And uh, that 220 power inlet, I guess, will also be able to take power from a, a um, little gasoline generator of some sort. Uh, I'd like the Honda 2000 version, but they are very expensive. I might be able to afford something more powerful from a different company, or maybe a couple of them for redundancy. Uh, but I'll look into that. The Honda is supposed to be a really, really reliable uh, little machine. It might be worth the money to to spend it on that. That will give me a very, very, very limited uh, ability to, to uh, go uh, yeah, gasoline electric drive, hybrid um, electric drive. Uh, <laughs> so I won't be able to use more than one and a half kilowatts or two if I only get the one, maybe three to four if I get two two generators uh, but that would certainly be a bonus running on one engine uh, I think I can propel that boat at like five or six knots using only maybe three to five kilowatts uh, yeah generator producing even two kilowatts 
will extend my uh, range by quite a lot. So instead of, say I'm running at 5 kilowatts, I have a bank that's 30 kilowatts, right? And I'm producing 2 kilowatts. Ah, with some help from the solar as well. Then, yeah, uh, I can run, yes, about 10 hours. Uh, 10 hours, 5 knots, that's 50 miles. That's not an insignificant range for an electric boat. Uh, but it's all theoretical and wishful thinking, but uh, I do believe I might be able to do something like that. I'm gonna have to try it out, but yeah. Good sunny day. Not impossible at all. With just a small generator. If you add one more, you extend that range much further. Uh, much further. Because then I'd only be pulling one kilowatt out of the battery every hour. And uh, that gives you 30 hours of propulsion at 5 knots, theoretical. And that's 150 miles. That's not a bad range at all. Nowhere close to a diesel with 400 liters of fuel on board, but still. Yeah, and obviously I'd have to carry a hell of a lot of uh, gasoline to do that. But, yeah, that is the idea. The idea is, of course, to be sailing. Uh, but when that doesn't work, then I have a pretty decent backup. I have to stop cooking, for, of course. <laughs> but I won't stay off the coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. I'll, uh... Yeah, that's it. Ciao.